I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Now, Taraji called out the studio execs who haven't paid her in relation to her box office poll, and that would include Warner Brothers, the studio releasing The Color Purple. They didn't even want to cast Taraji in the movie musical to begin with. Now, those people would be Pamela Adby, Jeff Goldstein, Michael DeLuca, and Andrew Cripps. Mm-hmm. And I'm just supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep, like, mm-hmm. enough is enough. Mm-hmm. I just discovered their names by typing in Warner Brothers Studio Execs. No, they were. But the internet. Guess who the internet wants to blame? <laughs> Another black woman. Yes, Oprah is trending right now. She is one of the producers on the movie adaptation of the Broadway musical. People are saying she is the reason that Taraji was underpaid for this film and I guess is to blame uh, for any time Taraji was underpaid throughout her career, even though Oprah has never been involved in another work that Taraji's done. I don't know. Now, it's all because of this video. <laughs> Color Purple cast was at the Empire State Building on December 13th. I'm not going to show the viral tweet that was attached to this video that has now been seen by 4 million people in 10 hours. Yeah, I'm not going to show the tweet because I don't want to promote that stupidity any further, so I'll summarize what they're going for here. So they think that Oprah, you know, dancing up to Taraji in this way is Oprah mocking Taraji, following her serious XM breakdown, because Oprah's the producer, and I control the money, and cry all you want, Taraji, but you're not getting more money from me. That's all in Oprah's dance, right there. Can you believe that? Wow. And then Taraji. I guess the fact that she didn't smile enough in this moment, or hug Oprah, even though they'd already been in each other's company for an hour at the Empire State Building before this? No, it must mean that Taraji's mad at Oprah for not giving her more money. Not the fact that they're waiting for the cast members to join them for a picture, no. Can I stop now? Taraji, she may be feeling a little run down, but she's got the energy to stand up against any Oprah slander writing. You got to stay up. Mr. Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. She has provided encouragement, guidance, and unwavering support to us all. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. It took one phone call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. Thank you, Miss Oprah, for all that you do. With some purple hearts. In the Hollywood Reporter cover story, Oprah revealed that the Warner Brothers studio heads wanted the film's leads to come from the more music side of things. Once the film moved to 90 to 100 million dollars, then everybody wants us to bring Beyonce. Can you get Beyonce? Or can you get Rihanna? So we're sitting in the room saying, listen, we love Beyonce, we love Rihanna, but there are other actors who can do this job. I do remember conversations about, y'all, Beyonce is going to be busy this year. It wasn't even a negotiation because you're not getting Beyonce. And before people start commenting that Oprah could have just supplemented Taraji's income with her own personal funds, that's not Oprah's job. I mean, the studio has plenty of money to pay Taraji her worth, especially when she's the top billed star on a film that has a 90 to $100 million budget. Damn, it's okay. And it sounds like, After a conversation with one decision-making black woman, they did. But it shouldn't take a conversation with O to make them do that. And Taraji should have to make that phone call in the first place. But what do you think of Taraji not being tired to defend Oprah? 